the levels of leadership we've had in the last 20 years. There have been people that understand and appreciate that you are in this position to serve and to see how you make tomorrow better than what you've met it today. As you know, Lagos State is moving into its 30-year development plan, what's called the LSTP, which is 30 years of futuristic thinking. The mandate we got from Mr. Governor was to develop a blueprint for modernizing medical infrastructure such that our facilities are designed in a manner that is culturally acceptable, that is cognizant of the environment, the climate. And the stakeholders that are going to be using those facilities are engaged in the process of the design because they're the users, the patients and the medical care team. And we all know what's happening environmentally, climate change. We're moving away from fossil fuel to renewable energy. So when we're designing our new hospitals, we're looking at natural cooling, we're looking at ventilation, we're looking at the comfort of the patient and the safety of the patient. And at the same time, the staff who are going to be working in those facilities. These are infrastructures we continue to build upon. What WHO and UNICEF has recommended on, in a year's budget, allocate between 10 to 12 percent of your total year's budget on health, and we're trying to meet that. So, when you look at our medical infrastructure, we have essentially four tiers. The fourth actually comes below the primary healthcare level, and most people will wonder what I'm talking about now, but that's really your alternative medicine practitioners. So, you have the primary healthcare platform, that's general medicine. And that's where 80% of our citizens will go. Then the next level is what we call the general hospitals, and those what we call secondary healthcare delivery. Whatever specialty you have in medicine, you find those in the general hospitals. And then above that, you have your tertiary academic or your teaching hospitals, where we train doctors and we do research and we do the most complicated kind of medical intervention that you can find because it's cutting edge. So that's your pyramid. The base is family, should be quite a few of them, then your general hospitals and then your apex centers. So we've looked at the design of the primary healthcare post and developed three prototype blueprints. They have a distinctive look. They're naturally cooled. The roof is fully solar paneled and the walls are perforated and the waiting areas are protected in what we call an indoor-outdoor design. So you're actually inside the building, but you actually feel as if you're outside. So there's natural ventilation all the time. first of the blueprint is the Massey Street General Hospital. It's built in such a way that it's naturally cooling. It takes full advantage of the way the sun is rising and setting, the natural breezes that we have in Lagos. And in another 12 to 18 months, that will be the first 
of our general hospital blueprints to come on stream. It's going to be the largest children's hospital in West Africa. 50% low carbon utility, designed fit for purpose. Looking at the movement of staff within the hospitals and the patients and reducing the risk of patients acquiring hospital uh, infections while receiving care for other things. We're building a brand new general hospital in Ojo with attention to orthopedics and spinal medicine. We're building a, the largest mental health institute in Nigeria, in Ketu Ejiri. We're building a comprehensive cancer center. We're developing a cardiac and renal center. And in so doing, creating Lagos as the destination for medical tourism in Africa.